Mandlang Naikazi could be joining Orlando Pirates. Kaiser Chiefs' loan deal for Kambole could be off. And Bloemfontein Celtics face a FIFA transfer ban. Hey guys, welcome to the Wazanaza Transfer Show and let's get into the latest happenings in the PSL. <laughs> Our first story of the episode takes us to Bloemfontein as FIFA ban Celtics have received a two-window transfer ban from FIFA. The ban will come into play during the upcoming transfer window till next season. Celtics were banned after failing to settle a reported 3 million rands owed to former goalkeeper Patrick Tenyem. Kaiser Chiefs are also currently serving a two-window transfer ban which is said to come to an end in the next 44 days on the 31st of July. Punya Selesele has said to face the same fate as they'll not be allowed to make any new signings until the beginning of the 2022-2023 season. Guys, please let me know in the comments below why is FIFA all of a sudden banning South African teams? Kaiser Chiefs now Bloemfontein. Speaking of South African teams, as TTM changed their name. DSTV Premier League side Chakuma Tsivasimandila have changed their name to Marumo Galleons. The name change has been approved by the Premier Soccer League. And here's their official announcement about the club's name change. Marumo is a direct Sipendi translation of a spear or a sword. Galleons, it means brave, heroic, bold. Batabanebantwa is our new pay of line. This is our new corporate identity, Marumo Gallants, Batabani, Bandwa. Our next story takes us to Amakosi as younger failed to seal the Kambole deal. Tanzanian outfits, young Africans have reportedly withdrawn their interest in Zambian and Kaiser Chiefs forward Lazarus Kambole after the two parties weren't able to agree on personal terms. The former Zesco United man is looking for a pay rise if he's to join the Tanzanian Giants on loan. Kambole who reportedly earns 120,000 rands per month in Amakosi is demanding a 14% increase in his monthly salary. The player's representatives have stated they will not accept a wage lower than 140,000 rands per month if the player is to join younger. While the team is only willing to offer the Kaiser Chiefs forward a deal worth 50,000 rands per month. 90,000 rands between the two parties is a big divide and it's seen the talks come to a scrooching end. Simba CS are also another team believed to be interested in signing the Zambian forward and could take this opportunity to table a better offer than their rivals. It will remain to be seen whether the player will get a move away from Kaiser Chiefs or will Kambole remain with Amakosi and fight for his place for the 2021-2022 PSL season. Our next few stories takes us to the Buccaneers as Happy Jelly staying at Pirates. The Orlando Pirates faithful can be rest assured that Captain Happy Jelly will still be at the club next season, despite his future at Pirates being the subject of speculation for some time, as his contract is set to come to an end in June. According to reports, a source close to the player has confirmed that Jelly and Pirates are close to agreeing a new deal. Jelly has reportedly been offered a one-year deal by Orlando Pirates and the source has revealed that the player is happy with it and it's only a matter of time before the 34-year-old defender puts pen to paper. We stick with the skull and bones as Nekazi could become a buccaneer. Mandlang Nekazi surprisingly parted ways with Golden Arrows on Wednesday as confirmed by the KwaZulu Natal club in an official statement. The 52 two-year-old led Bafana Bastende to an impressive fourth finish in the DSTV Premiership, three points behind Pirates who finished in third place under Josef Zinbauer. According to several local reports, it has been suggested that Nekazi could be on his way to join the Buccaneers as part of their technical team for next season. With Zinbauer's future seemingly uncertain, Sources have indicated that the Orlando Pirates management is not pleased with the team finishing third in the log and failing to qualify for CAF Champions League football next season. According to sources in Durban, the former Marysburg United mentor could be headed to Orlando Pirates. Mandla 
Ng Nekazi has a great offer in Gauteng and he could join Orlando Pirates as their assistant coach next season. Further reports claim that there is a possibility Nekazi could work under Steve Compella again. According to a close source to the Buccaneers, Compella has been earmarked for the head coach position at Orlando Pirates. Unless something big happens, it seems that the two, Nekazi and Compella, will get a chance to work together again at Pirates. There's a lot happening behind the scenes and we could see big announcements before the start of the season. Could we see Compella and Nekazi team up at the Skull and Bones? Guys, please let me know in the comments below. Our last story of the episode takes us back to KZN as Arrows identify Nekazi replacement. Bafana Bastende announced that the club and Nakazi mutually agreed to cut ties after 15 years. And now the club has identified the ideal replacement in Lecholonolo, Siema, who is set to join the KZN club as their new coach. Siema is still with Chipper United as the Chile boys prepare for the promotion playoffs. A source has indicated that the former Bloemfontein Celtic and Black Leopards mentor has agreed terms with the Durban side and is set to join the side ahead of their preseason tournaments, which includes the KZN Cup. Yep guys, this is all we have for the episode. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.